Hello, friends. Today we'll learn about goosebumps. You're watching a horror movie on your phone. Ah, it looks like a very scary scene is starting to unfold. You feel a chill run down your back, and again, you get goosebumps. They're an involuntary reaction that everyone experiences at some point in their life. Medically, goosebumps are called piloerection, cutis and serena, or horripilation. When it happens, the hair on your torso, arms, and legs stands straight up. The hair also pulls up a little bump of skin, the hair follicle, along with them. Look here, in this diagram, the muscle is relaxed and the skin and hair are in a normal position. During a goosebump, the muscles get tensed, causing the hair follicle to stand straight and cause bumps on the skin. They usually appear on the arms and legs, but they can happen elsewhere on your body. It's just that the arms and legs typically have more hair, so the bumps are more noticeable. To modern humans, goosebumps probably don't seem very useful, but long ago, they were practical for your ancestors. Early humans used to work in harsh climate conditions. Homo sapiens were once covered in lots of fur. Goosebumps provided early humans with some extra protection from the cold, functioning a bit like a built-in puffer jacket. Hair-rising goosebumps were also a response to threat, which would have made them appear larger and scarier and provided protection against enemies. Goosebumps happen among other members of the animal kingdom too, like chickens who fluff up their feathers for warmth. In the evolution process, humans lost most of their extra fur, but the physiology of hair raising technique has stayed with modern humans. Let us see, what causes goosebumps? Fear or shock. Adrenaline hormone is produced in the adrenal glands when someone is in fear. It stimulates tiny muscles to pull on the roots of your hairs, making them stand out from the skin. Cold. If you get cold, your brain alerts your body that it should take steps to warm up. Goosebumps are one of those signals. They're also an attempt to trap warm air next to your skin and let you hold on to your body heat. Strong emotions. When you have an intense feeling, your body releases hormones that make the tiny muscles under your skin tighten and your hair stand on end. Furry animals have this reflex too. It makes them look bigger and scarier when they're in danger. Goosebumps themselves are nothing to worry about, but every once in a while, they can be a symptom of an underlying condition. If unusual or worrisome goosebumps happen to you frequently, you should consult a doctor. Now, you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.